We're going to a lecture. They carry a burden in British Columbia. This lecture, we're going to be addressing the basic information about the community in British Columbia and how it is very important for you as a foreign worker to understand the benefit of living in a city like this in such a great province. Vernon is a city in the Okanagan region of the southern interior of British Columbia, Canada. It is 440 kilometers northeast of Vancouver, named after Fort George Vernon, a former MLA of British Columbia who helped establish the Coldstream Ranch in nearby Coldstream. The city of Vernon was incorporated on December 30th, 1892, based on Wikipedia information, and the population is 40,116 people, based on the survey in 2016. And now let's take a look at the website and also statistical information about the city. So here we are in the website of Town Folio, when we're looking for the community. As we said before, the total population of Vernon is 40,116 people based on the last survey back in 2016. The median household income of the city is 59,353. That's the average for the households. And the total visible minorities in the city is around 2,360 people with a median age for the overall population of the community of 48.6. So here we see the increase increasing trend of population in the city and it's good to understand that the growing rate has been of 1.32 per year over the last 15 years from 2001 to 2016 but it's still with the higher median age it tells us that the city needs newcomers to replenish their economy and to help the society what we see in the ages that we can see here the majority of people in the community are between the ages of 50 and from there on 69 so that's a big chunk of population in the city and if you can see from 50 over that's more, more than half of the population in the community so that is what is so important for the community to attract newcomers and immigrants to canada and that what opened the opportunity for people uh, professionals and speak the languages to qualify under this pilot program. When it comes to household income, we can see the rates here. Most of the people earn on an annual basis more than between $60,000 and $79,000 a year. And they have a very established middle class in the community. The visible minority that you can find in the community is basically South Asian, the biggest uh, group population, followed by Chinese, Filipinos, Japanese and Korean, a few Latin Americans there, and South Southeast Asian, and Arabs and Black. When it comes to knowledge of official languages, English represents the majority of people speaking in the community, with some presence on French, with around 2,595 people identify as French speaking people, while the 39,095 identify speaking English and a minority of 215 that speak other languages than English or French. When periods of immigration you can see that the majority of immigration happened before 1981 and it has been up and down during the last decades. Staying at 465 and 465 from 2006 till 2016. So we have been a stable rate of immigration coming to the community. When it comes to labor force, we can see that there's around 18,735 people in the community as a labor force with 52.8 employment rate, uh, an employment rate of uh, 8%, which is a little higher than the norm in Canada. When it comes to temperature, we can see that the highest temperature during the summertime is 86 and the lowest will be minus 23 because it's the location in British Columbia you can see that the temperatures during the winter time are milder than the ones in other provinces rain is the most common in this area so this is a little warmer than the rest of Canada so that's something that you need to be aware of an immigrant 
you're going to encounter more rain in this part of the country than in other provinces. When it comes to real estate, we can see that there's around 5,590 renters in the community, while 12,205 people are homeowners. The most popular dealing site is two bedrooms, apartment, or houses, and the least popular is one bedroom. And the construction period have been big, a lot of construction during the 60s to the 80s, and then it started slowing down a little bit after 2011. When it comes to prices, the average price has been increasing. 2016, the average price of a house is around $401,000 per house. Remember that BC, uh, especially closer to Vancouver, is one of the most expensive real estate in Canada. When it comes to education, the majority of people have a high school diploma, no certificate, and some apprenticeship, and then university degrees. The major field of studies in this area will be businesses and management, engineering, a big chunk of it, health and related fields, and then education. When it comes to the majority of people living there, the majority are from Canada, but we have some people coming from China, the UK, India, the Philippines, and the USA. The majority of employers are small businesses between one and four employees, followed by employers of five or nine employees. So small businesses are the majority of the companies in British Columbia, real estate is the biggest industry in BC. Let's take a look at other websites. And now we are in the website of the city of Bern. In the section for immigration, you can see that you can navigate different choices to explore the website. You have immigration, the provincial nominee program, the rural and northern immigration pilot program, information about housing, getting around, working, community groups, recreations, dining and shopping and moving, and also some BID opportunities in the city. You have the events here. You can check here the events that they have. Remember to, to become familiar with the community if you're interested in the community. They have photo galleries and video, video galleries, and more a lot of pages with information about recreations, parks, places to stay, and places to eat. They have the program activities, the tourism environment, of course, it's in BC, so it's normally a beautiful place to visit. Then you have the park and recreation with more details about the schedule, the booking, and everything. All the information that you might need to learn about the city is in the website. You have information about the transportation and the roads, the airport, the parking, the driving, carpooling. You have information about businesses that you can search businesses here and you have the information about the directory with the contact information that you might need. Also about home and buildings and government services. So we suggest you to check this website. Here is the information for immigration. They're telling you everything about the immigration. They have some link about immigration to BC and some other links here about different programs and directories. You can also check their Facebook page and here just you can just like and follow you have information about events forum community and posts and also follow people that are in the page and start your network of contacts before you arrive remember to be professional about it and you can check information they have you can ask questions and they'll be happy to answer to you for you you also can check their youtube page with videos about the city and airport and a lot of information you might find here in the videos playlist as well so just take a look and subscribe and get familiar with the different videos and presentations about the city Vermont has also a job fair managed by their settlement services and here of course it's postponed by now but if you go to that page you should be able to you should be able to check the information how to prepare for a job fair if you happen to be physically in Vernon and also you can see how the table application for this you can register here there's a cost but check this page for more information 
you can also check the community futures of North Okanagan and they have a list of job search websites for people in BC you can see here general websites job sites that you can find employers especially if you locate employers for BC for the city and also you can check a specialized job work for information technology job posting in these two websites if you have experience in forestry you can find jobs in these sites here recommended if you have experience in mining you can find jobs in these sites and finally if you have experience in oil fields working in oil extraction then you have this uh, job website that is specialized for that industry i hope you enjoyed this lecture and i invite you to go and check the links provided in the lecture to explore those websites and that way you can find information. Thank you very much.